Happy Monday, everybody. You know, I woke to a rather, what I want to call a sleepless night for whatever reason. I know for me, I feel like I go to bed. I know I've tossed and turned. I know I've slept because the clock tells me so. <laughs> and next thing I know, it's morning and I don't know how I got here. It's a blink of an eye. Everything's changed calendar I'm in a different day so as I went to the bathroom to put my contact lenses in I have no clue where one contact lens went I wanted to put it in my eye I felt like it didn't get in there I wanted to push it and it completely disappeared into the abyss in a blink of an eye so as I tried to spend a little time finding it and finding it in my eye, I realized it was definitely not there and nowhere to be found. So I had to open a new one and start over and not get caught up in the fact that now I'm mismatched in my boxes. I had to say it is what it is. I need my sight. So as we're moving into today, which is 9-11 here in the States, we also need to understand there's going to be a lot of things that have changed in a blink of an eye and everyone's going to ask you to remember in a blink of an eye how something has changed and had it, how it forever changed many throughout the earth plane and beyond. It was a global event as we know it here in our densities. We're going to be asked to remember all of that, which is going to activate and stir our pain body. The emotional of degrees of separation or right in the muck of it. It's going to ask you to recall all that, which is going to stir a whole mixed bag of global goulash. You don't quite know who's put what ingredient in this goulash, but everybody's got a little something in the pot. And it's being stirred and thickened every time this date comes along. You have to ask yourself, how does this serve me in this moment? And as we're already dealing with and working through and trying to hone in and skill by releasing emotional components of our own pain bodies, for our own evolution is this more like being a pincushion for the past and it's poking and prodding other things that are going on and does it actually serve a purpose for our own evolving or is it feeding a darker agenda and is my responses and reactions individually and collectively feeding even a darker agenda? So I have to be very conscientious and careful where I place my energies taking in and releasing. Because it is my responsibility to release and take in and put out what I'm being called to do in order to stand in my individual independent positioning system and not allow myself to be sucked into other pathways. Because if I've worked really hard to get to where I am and this particular agenda on this particular day is going to try to pluck at heartstrings and poke and prod me as a pincushion, am I undoing all the work that I've been doing? And that is to see things more in a neutral space. So I can see things more clearly without literally draining my flesh and blood on any level. And to bear witness to what had occurred to give it love, to douse it with love, but not to douse it with my pain body, my emotional body, 
that someone's working on siphoning, which is going to lower my oxygen. It's going to lower my life force by sucking me over here into this agenda. So how do I gain my footings and know that everything I've done up until this moment to create the better, healthier version of my human that I'm here to do and not, not allow myself to be swept away and so I'm going to ask each and every one of you to connect with that, to be with that the best of your ability. So as the winds are blowing, you're not allowing yourself to be blown away because you're fully anchored in the who of the you in the universe. So tap on this today. Ask your physical body to really anchor you, not to allow these waves of emotions that aren't belonging to you. They're being created and they're allowing the false monkey mind to wreak havoc. And before you know it, you're very helter skelter and you're off balance when you're off balance unbeknownst to you you're feeding the dark agenda and we're here to really work on anchoring the light even though we have to walk through the darkness and the darkness isn't bad the darkness just helps you work on the other sensories and hone in and amplify the physical sensories so that you can see, sense, and feel that you are so much more in all of this. So don't allow someone to pluck you off of your postage stamp of solidarity and all the work that you've done up until this time. If you need any help on this journey, embodimentofthesoul.com. I've got intuitive therapeutics tools that can help. In the meantime, please help me by liking, subscribing, and sharing, passing this information on, that you're getting some value here, and it allows the algorithms to, that's the only way, the only language they know, is when there's more activity, there's more rotation of a video. So I hope that this has helped you not to feed into what's being set up for you. What's being set up for you. And don't fall into the traps. Don't get caught up in them. Don't eat the cheese. <laughs> Alright, have a wonderful day. Bye.